Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Amber Rose, also known as The Religious Hippie. You can basically follow me on any social media platform, just type in The Religious Hippie and you will find me. So with Advent approaching so quickly, and I believe it starts on November 28th, 2021 this year, so I am so excited for Advent. You guys know that I love Lent. I love all the liturgical holidays, but there's just something about Lent where I feel like I really push myself uh, to be a better Catholic and to really help others and to just perfect myself and better better love God through, you know, denying my flesh and all that fun stuff that Lent makes us do. So with Advent coming up though first, um, I'm super excited because I decided to put a list of things together for you guys. I did something similar to this um, last year, uh, so I will link that video below for you guys if you're interested. Also, excuse my voice, I lost my voice last week and uh, it's still kind of coming back. So if I sound like a 12 year old boy going through puberty, I apologize. <laughs> And before I get into this video any further, I also wanted to mention that Blessed Is She did a similar video to this and I wanted to link it below for you guys because I absolutely loved it and I did mention a couple things that they mentioned in this video so highly suggest you go check out their video. I absolutely loved it and I know you guys will too. And again, if you guys want that more in-depth video about Advent, I am posting that below as well. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so to summarize from my in-depth Advent video, Advent comes from the Latin word Adventus, which means to um, approach or to arrive. And so sometimes it's also referred to as Little Lent, which I think is absolutely adorable. Um, and this is really the time for us to prepare for the arrival of Jesus, the birth of Jesus. So the first thing I think is a great idea for you guys to do is to obviously get an Advent wreath. Duh. So you can either make one or you can buy one. Personally, if you have little kids, I highly suggest making one. They will have a blast with this. And I think it's a great family activity. Pinterest has great ways of, um, I think they have like instructions and stuff like that you can follow. Or you can just be creative and figure out what you have around your house. Um, there's just so many ways to be creative with advent wreaths. Um, if you have older kids, maybe they want to make their own advent wreath or maybe you just go and buy one. Um, but I highly suggest, no matter if you buy one or make one, you should get it blessed. I think this is a wonderful tradition that your family will love. Or if you don't have a family and you're just by yourself or with your significant other, whatever, this is a great tradition. I honestly love it. The second thing I highly suggest, which is also probably obvious, is getting an advent calendar. I'm just saying they have adult advent calendars. I'm getting one. <laughs> I'm just saying you're never too old to get an advent calendar. Come on. If you are too old to get an advent calendar and not get little treats of chocolate every day, what are you doing? Honestly, you need that childlike fun, that childlike trust, that childlike joy, especially with the arrival of Jesus coming. Come on, get an advent calendar. What's the worst that could happen? Besides the fact that if you have kids and they all open everything on the same day and don't wait actually till Christmas, then you would have a bunch of sugar crazed little children running around and screaming. Um, but that's the worst case scenario. So let's not talk about that. <laughs> Number three, and this is one that Blessed Is She mentioned in their video, and that is to get all of your Christmas shopping done before Advent. Because Advent is really that time that we should be preparing ourselves for the arrival of Jesus and not be worrying about the hustle and bustle of getting things for Christmas and all that fun stuff. I've basically already finished my Christmas shopping. I don't have that many people to shop for to begin with. Um, I don't have tons of friends and my family's pretty small. So that makes it easy. Um, um, but yeah, I highly suggest getting a head start on your Christmas shopping nonetheless and uh, do it before Advent if you can. Number four, I highly suggest you guys starting devotions, whether it's with your family or just by yourself, it doesn't matter. Advent devotions are amazing. There's a bunch different out there, um, but one of the ones that I always see coming highly recommended, I have not done it yet, I'm planning on doing it this year, so Maybe next year I'll let you know. Um, but it's called The Celebrating Abundance by Walter Bregman. Um, it's on Amazon. I'm linking it below for you guys for those who want to try it out. I, again, have not tried it, so I can't speak from my own personal experience, but I know many people have um, recommended this to me, and so I'm going to recommend it to you. Oh, also, the St. Andrew Christmas Novena is also a great one. I highly suggest that one. I just remembered that. It is one that I personally love doing around Christmas time. So look it up, do it with your family, do it by yourself. But it's an absolutely beautiful novena, and I highly suggest you try it out. 
Okay, number five, start going to adoration nightly or at least regularly, which means at least three times a week. I think going to adoration is a great way to prepare for the coming of Jesus, just in general, because during Advent, we're not just preparing for the birth of Jesus throughout history, but we're also preparing for his coming in general, for the next judgment, you know, it's final judgment, excuse me. And so, this is a time to really start spending time with Jesus and getting your prayer life in order and really going to uh, confession. That was actually going to be <laughs> number six. Um, so number six, go to confession, you know, and in general, just receive the sacraments, go to mass, get your spiritual life in order, be in friendship with God. This is the perfect time to do it. And honestly, better late than never, right? And so I highly suggest you start doing that because we are not promised tomorrow. So remember, start going to adoration. Uh, also, just start going to Mass. If you haven't been going to Mass, go to Mass. Um, daily Mass is great too. And then, of course, confession. So please start doing those things anyways. It's not just for Advent. You should be doing those things anyways. But I just thought I'd throw it in here because, again, we're preparing for the coming of Christ. So... Okay, number seven is to go help out at a soup kitchen or volunteer in general. Um, you can do this again with your family or by yourself, it doesn't matter. I usually volunteer by myself um, and that's just kind of how it works and that's great. But this is one of the best ways to really get your family into the holiday spirit of being charitable towards others. Even if this is literally just you packing a care package for a homeless person that you drive by every single day, um, just being charitable towards others. You doesn't, it doesn't specifically have to be a soup kitchen. It could be a coat drive or you could, um, you could help with the baby bottles. You know, they have those baby bottles around this time of year where you fill it up with your loose change and it's donated to, uh, crisis pregnancy centers. Um, just being charitable with your time and your money can mean the world of difference to just one person. And I remember mother Teresa said, at least I believe it was Mother Teresa. If it's not, please somebody correct me. But uh, if you cannot change, if you cannot feed a hundred people, just feed one. And that has always stuck with me. And so if you cannot clothe a hundred people, just clothe one. You cannot feed a hundred people, just feed one, etc. So being charitable towards others, even if it's just your neighbor, go for it. I think that's a great way to spend Advent. Number nine is to start a routine of reflection every night. This could be through the examination of conscience, or you might just reflect throughout your day and do a prayer journal and figure out things that you could have done better, things that went really well. Um, if you forgot to pray or something, add that in, set an alarm. Um, just really work on bettering your prayer life as best as you can. And through daily reflection, this is how we truly grow in our spiritual life. Because if we don't know we do something, we can't grow from it, right? So really taking that time, just 10 minutes at night. It doesn't take very long to just reflect on your day and think about things you're going to do differently tomorrow. Okay, and number 10, my last tip for you guys is to clean, declutter, get stuff out of here. One of the best ways to prepare for Advent and Christmas because you guys are gonna get a bunch of Christmas stuff. So I'm just saying it's gonna pile up. You better start decluttering. Um, Advent is like a really great time to declutter because we're preparing for Jesus to come. And so we really want to declutter not just our physical lives, not just clothes you don't wear anymore, not just books you don't read anymore, but also our spiritual lives. What are things that are hindering us in our spiritual life that we need to declutter? Um, could it be a certain TV show? Could it be a certain book series? Maybe it's bad music. Um, the list goes on and on, but you don't just have to declutter physically. You can also do it spiritually. And with all of that being said, I hope that this video helped give you guys some ideas for this advent and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys!